everybody, it's Bobby here. Um, the girls are out, which means I get to play my guitar in the living room and crank it up. Um, doing an instructional video today, uh, a lot of my YouTube followers have been asking me to slow down my Neil Sean journey solos that I have up there. Um, I have them all up there at full speed and, um, uh, you know, playing Neil Sean's fast parts are, are difficult when you first learn how to do them. Uh, so a lot of my members have been asking me to, to play them slow and explain um, how I do them. So uh, specifically uh, the Still They Ride solo. So I'm going to play it and I'm going to break down Neil Sean's fast pattern, um, which is really the same pattern. He does a lot of the same pattern in a lot of different songs when he plays fast. So once you have that pattern down, you can do a lot of different journey solos or kind of at least understand what he's doing. So I'm going to try to demonstrate that. So I'll play Still They Ride. Let me crank the camera down here and get my uh, fretboard. Um, I'll play Still They Ride uh, full speed, and then I will uh, break it down and slow it down. So, and I'll just go over the fast part. The, the other parts are pretty pretty simple. <laughs> sloppy I haven't played with my band in like a week and I'm just getting back into it now so um, so okay L let me go over the Neil Sean pattern what I call the Neil Sean pattern really quick it it's really simple when you when you break it down it's really simple it's not that difficult and once you put all the pieces together and learn how to play it really fast that's when it becomes really impressive so I'm gonna start on the G string at the 17th fret because the end of that solo was that's a G string right there okay so a lot of times he likes to start by bending a note and that's kind of how he starts his runs you know sometimes he'll just go into a but a lot of times he likes to before he gets into it so G string 17th fret bend up B string 1517. And, and I'll, I'll run down this whole pattern and I'll slow it down and explain it. So his his pattern is pretty much this slow. Let me do that again, I screwed it up. Alright, so we'll do it again slow. And that's really it. I know that's really simple, but if you do that, learn how to do it right and do it fast, you will have Neil Sean's fast playing. So, again, G string, 17th fret. And the key is, from this point, G string, it will go 17, 14, D string, 17, and then right back to the G string, 17. So I just said, that's a key. He does a lot of that pivoting. And you can do that with your, maybe your ring finger and then your middle finger. But I find it easier just to kind of bar my ring finger. And then same thing on the other string, on the D string. Pretty much he does that same pattern all up and down the fretboard, you know, a lot. It's not the only thing he does, but it's one of the main things he does. So let me do it slow again. Try to do it slow again. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Now I'll show you one more pattern that's very similar uh, with some notes added um, that I've adapted to my playing as well. So it's the same thing, basically. But then instead of going to the... I'll go... Uh, <laughs> one more time. So 
it's the same pattern, but just adding in uh, 14, 16, 17. So. So, now that I've played that slowly many, many times, I'm going to play it fast and show you what it sounds like and why it's so impressive. And I'll, I'll, I'll start slow and speed it up and speed it up. So... So that's that's what it is. Once you play it up to speed, that's that's where it sounds really impressive. And separate ways is the same thing. Separate ways is <laughs> So hopefully you got it. So uh, still there, right? Let me play it um, fast and then slow one more time. Oh, and then you, the beginning part. I forgot to go over that that beginning part. That's basically that's slightly different. That's basically... So, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to go over every single note of that, but you can, you know, once you have your other pattern, you can kind of pick up on that. It's not that difficult. A lot of pentatonic blues box. So hopefully that helps. Um, you know, I've, I've adapted that to my playing, and it's it's really it's really fun. Um, and you can do that same pattern anywhere. Um, you know, I do a lot of that Neil Sean thing, but you can be anywhere um, and and do that pattern. You just kind of play around with that. I do a lot of that pivoting. As you can see, you can put it anywhere, and it, you know, it sounds really cool. Um, it's kind of an alternative to the straight out fast picking. You know, you kind of do that uh, type of Neil Sean thing. So hopefully that helps. Um, now everyone should, in the world should be able to play like Neil Sean and, and take his job. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks. Rock on.